Okay, so let's start. So <clears throat> I did a couple of sketches of the T-Rex. We're going to use the T-Rex today. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to use poses and how to use uh, perspective a little bit in your um, in your dinosaur drawings. You can like what I'm going to show you. You can implement it with any other dinosaur that you want that you want to use or draw. I mean, like what you want to draw. Um, like these are not the best sketches, but um, they will help a lot in understanding what's going through my mind. So I first wanted to draw a dinosaur that was running towards me. So the first thing that you have to do is look at like, for example, a chicken. If a chicken is walking, um, the way that he will lift up one leg will be like at this angle because like for example okay let's first focus on the leg actually so dinosaur leg so from the side view it's gonna be really wide it go it's going to go down calf muscle right there and then over here like this will be the foot you know that's a dinosaur leg but this is from the side perspective if you're gonna turn it around and you're gonna look look at it from the front then suddenly it's gonna look a little bit more like this because it's never gonna be straight like right now it looks like it's gonna be go straight down like here's the body you know the the hip area but if I would draw the same hip area over here like this is the hip then the leg will slightly go in over here and then over here it will slightly go out again so what you're gonna see is you're gonna draw like the uh, thigh which will not be as wide as you can see over here <coughs> will be a lot less wide like it will um, kind of be like overly shaped you know like very thin and then the knee would be over here and then this part would go in with the calf muscle going inwards a little bit and then over here it will start to go out with like the toes going out and this side will go exactly the same like this is the front view basically and then the calf muscles it will go in and it will go out. That's basically what a dinosaur um, front view looks like. You first have to know actually the anatomy. Dinosaur leg goes like down at an angle. Look, it goes to the front. Then it has a knee over there. Then it goes back a little bit, and then the ankle is over there. And then it goes down again, connecting to the toes. That's like uh, the the basics of a dinosaur. Like you always have to remember this, because if you're gonna draw poses, if you're gonna draw different perspectives, you will have to know um, what everything looks like, and you will have to try to visualize um, what this leg will look like in different poses. So, for example, if I would draw the leg in another pose, like slightly, like this one, you know, slightly facing us. So what we would do we would first draw a line and draw another line going back maybe a little bit more like going down and then like this and then the foot would be over there well this line is supposed to be a little bit longer because but yeah because it's uh it's like the the the, the <laughs> shin i'm sorry okay the shin area but it looks like this part is shorter than this part over here like if you can see over here it's almost the same length but here it's shorter. It isn't actually shorter. The fact is that it's farther back and it's like you're looking at it from a more frontal view. Like over here as well. It looks shorter. But that's just because a lot of the length is in going backwards. You know, like if you would change the perspective a little bit, it would look like this. You know? But that's just because of the uh, the way that you're drawing it so what you're gonna do now is it's gonna be a little bit thinner than over here a little bit thinner not too much the calf muscle will kind of be like covered by part of the, the thigh muscle and you can see a little bit of the calf muscle like sticking out over there and then you go into like the part that goes like down into the foot and then you will have to draw like a couple of toes like this so basically 
that's the basics of how to draw the like the legs but in order for you to be able to draw all those different poses you will have to know like you will have to individually practice all the parts that's on the dinosaur for example if you're struggling with drawing the feet like I was struggling over here a lot it has been a long time since I've drawn again actually but um, I was struggling a lot with this foot right here you will have to practice on doing this foot right here if you're struggling with um, doing the perspective of like or doing yeah the like the anatomy of the little hands you will have to practice the little hands this is the only way um, that I can show you how to uh, like how to draw a dinosaur in different poses because you will have to know exactly what everything looks like and you will have to have you know, like for example the face so if you're looking at um, I'm gonna draw it over here I'm not sure if you guys can see it yeah you can uh, you can I mean so we're just gonna start with the circle frontal view you will see the nose over here but you will also see like the eyebrows sticking out over there you know and the nose will go down like this and then you will have like something that goes like this and now I'm gonna have to consider because I accidentally drew the nose a little bit more to the right and to the left so that means that in perspective we will see more of the uh, left side well his right side or her right side of the face than uh, the other side like for example you can see it over here you see so now I've drawn like this part and I'm gonna make this line a little darker so you can kind of like see that this part is covering up part of that that side of the face and I'm just gonna do like a closed jaw so same thing just draw this area this is supposed to be a little bit thinner I guess and then I'm gonna draw the jaw muscles underneath that Oh, I made a mistake. So, <laughs> so then I'll just like I said, I'll just draw the jaw muscles like so, and then the neck will be over here. You know, and you can draw the teeth in and everything, but basically there you have like the head of a Tyrannosaurus from the front view but if you wanna like turn this around what you'll see is that you'll start off with the same size circle but now it's gonna be in a little bit it's gonna look a little bit more to the right so that means that suddenly this part of the face will be not like really visible anymore because the nose is in front of it and this like this curve over here it will also kind of you know like change a little bit and then suddenly you see the curve over here which was previously covered by the nose and then you see this part again like this curve over there going down and then the other um, like eyebrow is right there you know and there you kind of can see how everything is coming along the most important part is knowing what you're drawing basically that's the most important part of everything you have to know your anatomy you have to know exactly like what you are drawing in order to get the right perspective and I know this face is a little short and I know this like it doesn't really look right but it was just for uh, a demonstration purpose you know it wasn't really a very serious uh, drawing if that makes sense so now like if we're done with this sketch right here what we're gonna do I'm gonna go to a different page so now what we're gonna do <coughs> is we're gonna focus on getting the the body shape and everything right and getting the head and the body in the way that we want it you know so what I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna start off with the circle which is always the body like I'm visualizing this circle as being the body I want this dinosaur to look at me but have his head like a little bit more to the left so I'm gonna tr draw a little circle over here for the head because I'm visualizing the head being in front of the body the head being in front of the rest of the body 
but I'm also visualizing that the tail will have to be over here somewhere. It's going to be tiny because the, the, the perspective that I'm drawing it in. So the head is going to be relatively large in comparison with the head, with the rest of the body. So I'm going to draw this a little bit bigger because of the perspective. So everything that's closer is going to be bigger. Um, the head is already pretty big of the T-Rex, but it's going to be even bigger because it's closer to us. Now I also want to visualize like the chest area of the dinosaur. And I can do this with every single dinosaur, except for like, for example, the Teresinosaurus, which is a little bit... Um, differently uh, proportioned with like a way shorter tail and it it's like uh, angled up a little bit more like it's uh, like it it's it's almost like it's leaning back a little more um, you will have to take that into account and of course but now we have like the basic body shape and everything down the only thing that we need is the legs which is one of the hardest things like if you get pa past the legs of the dinosaur you will most probably be able to draw any kind of dinosaur uh, very quickly but what we want to do is we want to draw it also depends by the way on how do we want to draw the, the, the legs like is he going to be walking is he going to have a neutral stance is he going to uh, be running is he going to be like who knows you know um, Let's, okay, so let's make this one lifting up his leg, which will mean that this leg will look a, l a lot shorter because of the fact that we can only see part of it. Like the rest is behind this bump, you know, and it, it's like it's coming towards us. Like for example, if I'm drawing a line, if I'm drawing, um, okay, if I'm drawing like this cylinder right here, this is the length of this cylinder, you know. But let's say I'm going to make the cylinder face us. The only thing that we would see is this. It suddenly became shorter, if you can see. If I would like angle it a little bit more like this. You see? It becomes shorter again. But it's the same cylinder, basically. It just... It's the same size, but this part is farther away. So that's what I'm doing here as well. Like this leg is supposed to be long, like it's supposed to be this long, you know? But because he's lifting it up like this, it's gonna look shorter. And then this calf muscle over here, kind of like that. And then I don't even have to draw in the rest of the, like the, the ankle and everything, because this uh, paw will be right in front of everything. So I'm gonna draw like, a claw right there, I'm gonna draw a claw right there, and I'm gonna draw a claw right there. And then I can just quickly fill in like the the stuff that I have to you know fill in. So now we have a dinosaur that's literally like lifting one leg up in the air. And who knows? Maybe he's running Maybe he is just like trying to step over something. Let's make him, let's put him in a running pose, okay? So this is a pretty bulky dinosaur already. Um, so I'm gonna obviously make it a T-Rex, but so the other leg would be over here because it's obviously running. And I'm gonna make like claws more like this. So this is going to be like three toes that are like that he's standing on right now. He's running. And maybe I I did the tail a little bit wrong because I want to make it look like he is going more like uh, this direction or sorry, this direction, you know, that direction. But now it looks like he's going this direction because it's the tail. But I don't want that. I want him to go this direction. So I'm going to put the tail. I'm going to make it a little bit longer as well. So that it looks like he is uh, a little bit more facing that way. Alright. So there we have pretty good, you know, like a pretty good pose going on. 
but we also have to put in like in and in my opinion like i put this chest is way too uh too broad so i'm gonna make it a little bit more like inwards you know a little bit more and it like the neck is over there but i want to make this chest a little bit more like this and then have his belly over here no and then have this bump over there and now i can add like the little hands but on this side i'm gonna change it like i'm gonna have to put it a little bit differently than on that side because here i can just do two lines and then i can make like the two claws the upper one is a little bit bigger than the i mean the upper one is a little bit smaller one smaller than the, than the upper one hey <laughs> wow can not talk for a second um but actually i'm gonna make this different actually more like this and then we have an upper little claw over there and then the bottom one is a little bit bigger like that so there we have um, the arm and we can make like a shoulder muscle over here because you can see the shoulder muscle over there so there must be a shoulder over here as well you know a shoulder muscle okay so now we're gonna have to like draw the head in this perspective so what I usually do is I start with like um, the snout and then over here there's like a curve going up depending on like the, the kind of way that it's like looking down or looking up this like for example this is actually like uh, a curve going up but if the T-Rex would be looking at us from this perspective, which is hard to draw for me, like this perspective, like this, these are the the lower jaws, like the bottom jaw, and you can kind of see like the bone structure in there. But if it if it's looking at us from that perspective. And suddenly This is a straight line and I'm not sure if you can tell like what I'm trying to draw right here I'm not really sure if you can tell but this is basically like the bottom perspective and like here's the neck and everything and here's like the neck on that side you know but this becomes it's rel this line is also relative to whatever angle the T-Rex is looking at you then it's a curved line going up over here and going outwards like that and now over here we can start doing like the eyebrow and as well as over here start doing the eyebrow and this is like the back of the head back of the head I'm sorry with like a um, neck going down and I'm gonna just keep the jaw closed but We don't even have to draw like the rest of the neck. And it might look like the head is way too big, but it all depends. Like, for example, I made this foot way smaller than this one because this foot is farther away. So if I want to make this right, I can always like go back in and make the tail a little bit shorter, a little bit more tiny, because that way it looks like there's a forced perspective. Like it's really... Um, or I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but like it looks like um, the perspective in this drawing is really extreme because this head is really big, but the like the rest of the body like keeps getting smaller. So what you could do, you you could like kind of like imagine that the perspective lines would go like this, you know, like this is the vanishing point already, which is pretty close to the dinosaur itself. But yeah. So, we're going to draw like this area, the nose, the eye here, and the teeth. Alright, so there you have like the basics into and like if you're done uh, sketching you can erase 
like the lines that you don't like and you don't want in your drawing so that you make it so you can make I'm sorry I can't speak right now so that you can make it look a little bit cleaner and then just go over it with either a pen or like a darker pencil or maybe you can just use a like the same pencil and sharpen the uh, the lead you know But, um, yeah, so that's basically it. And if you want to, like, you can do this with any kind of perspective. For example, I can use a line of action right now, like like that, you know. And I know that the body will be probably over here. And I also know that the tail will probably will be going over there. And it's not going to be, like, as long as the line of action. And then I know that the neck will be over here, you know. And the head will be over here. And maybe because I want to make it dramatic, I want to have it, uh, it's, like, it's, uh, it's mouth opened. Well, I can't, I couldn't even, like, find the right words. But, um, and then you just, like, you know, you just draw from there. And you know the, pers like, you know the anatomy of what you're drawing. Like, here's going to be the chest again, here's going to be the belly. Um, this like the belly will be sticking out a little bit on this side because the leg will be right there and maybe he's like making a very dramatic turn you know like this is the upper leg and the calf muscles over here going outside like going outwards and then like this foot might be like extended in the air you know like this and you just draw the claws again just like what we did before but it's all it's always at a different angle it's never at the same angle just keep that in mind just don't try and keep drawing the same thing because if you keep on drawing the same things then you won't learn basically you need to learn you need to like challenge yourself and keep trying different things And there's like a extra little claw, and maybe this like this tail it like it goes to the, into the ground. I don't want that, so I'm gonna pick up the tail over here, and I'm gonna like make it go like that. And maybe this is like a more agile dinosaur, so maybe I want to like make it have. Um, more agile face like an allosaurus kind of face so I'm gonna put the head back a little bit farther because it's not really accurate um, and I'm gonna have to visualize, visualize now where everything will be so this is gonna be the front of the snout and then it's going to go back and there's gonna be an eyebrow over here it's gonna be an eyebrow over there on the other side as well and um, I want his mouth to be opened so it's gonna be like something like this so it's all about knowing what you're drawing basically why well, it doesn't really look like an allosaurus but like I don't really have a reference right now you know so it is going to be a little harder, of, like obviously, to to draw certain uh, dinosaurs. Oh, wow, that's really sloppy of mine. Doesn't really look right. So the crest was supposed to be over there, and this crest is supposed to be over there. And then I can extend like the nose a little bit more, like that. And then put this over there. You know, and this way, you just got to keep sketching and keep improving and making everything look better and better and better. I have a very messy way of sketching things. Um, <laughs> so it might look really weird 
to a lot of people. But this is basically how I sketch. Like I just go over everything, every line, and I just keep on going, going over them for some reason. I don't know why I do this, but it's the way that I draw basically. Like you can only see two of the fingers because one is behind over there and then over here as well like it just it, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is just a sketch you know you can just do it however you want right now because you're sketching it doesn't have to be clean it doesn't have to look very good it just it's all about you learning how to draw something um, I am gonna erase this head because I don't really like it um, so the other crest will be over there which means that like this part of the head will be kind of like this kind of like that I like this a little bit better because it's a little bit more a little bit bigger and it, <laughs> it doesn't have to be accurate or anything like if you want to make it ac look accurate you have to practice a certain head a couple of times you have to practice a certain thing until uh, you get it right basically until you know how to draw something um, so yeah I hope all of this was helpful um, if you like the video leave a comment below and uh, yeah tell me what you think about the video and uh, don't forget to like the, the video and subscribe because uh, it really helps me out so without further ado I mean this was Dinosaur Drawer and goodbye